To begin our review of algebraic operations with polynomial expressions, we need to first begin by reviewing the definition for the polynomial in variable x. So we say that a polynomial in the variable x is an expression of the following form. So we say that a polynomial in the variable x is an expression of the form a sub n times x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 times x to the n minus 1. And we continue with this pattern all the way down till we get to a sub 1 times x to the first power plus a sub 0. Now, we want to make note of what do these terms mean? So the set of all of these a values are all of the coefficients or the constants attached to each variable. And we want to be mindful that these coefficients are restricted to the set of all real numbers. Now, these powers on x are the exponents. And the exponents are going to be restricted to whole numbers, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and beyond. Now, one important feature of a polynomial expression is the leading term. So this is the term in the expression attached, or the constant here, a sub n, is attached to the variable of the highest degree. And we refer to this a sub n as the leading coefficient. And n, the greatest exponent, is called the degree. Now, as we continue with our exploration of algebraic operations, we want to be mindful of some new terminology. While the number of terms a polynomial expression may have will vary, there are three cases we want to be on the lookout for. So we say that a polynomial with exactly one term is called a monomial. So for example, something like x squared. We have one term here, so we refer to this polynomial expression as a monomial. When a polynomial has two terms, we refer to it as a binomial. So for example, x plus 17. And another common terminology we want to be mindful of is a trinomial, or a polynomial with three terms. Something like x to the fifth minus 2x squared plus x.